We were discussing um, the transnational human rights obligations. And um, what I tried to argue about is um, uh, that um, human rights obligations and obligations of uh, justice um, extend beyond uh, state institutions. There seems to be an established view uh, amongst a lot of um, people writing and teaching in the area that um, the institutions of the state have um, a special capacity to trigger off such obligations of justice and of human rights and that this capacity um, lacks from or in the institutions uh, that extend beyond the state. Uh, I wanted to challenge this idea and uh, on the basis of an argument uh, which um, claims that uh, there is nothing particular in the configuration of state institutions that triggers off uh, such principles which cannot be found uh, beyond the borders of the state. Um, so in order to do this, I focus um, on um, the impact that state coercion has on persons, on the subjects of the law, and um, that this, it is precisely that impact on the uh, autonomy of persons which triggers obligations of justice and human rights, and that uh, this impact is um, um, possible to detect also in institutions outside the state. So international organizations, the actions of NGOs, of companies, um, or even of uh, individuals, and for that reason, it is more interesting to focus on uh, the nature of the coercive um, character of such interactions uh, between all these actors beyond the uh, context of the state, and then draw the conclusion uh, or look into which principles those interactions uh, trigger off. And then we will find that there is a large network of obligations that extends the, um, uh, that that uh, goes beyond uh, the obligations of justice or um, human rights that we find within uh, the state.